students i am karan kohli i am presenting you uh, practical cost accounting in practical cost accounting uh, i am selecting cost sheet topic cost sheet uh, in the particular session i am delivering first of all theoretical norms of the uh, practical cost sheet uh, in the particular session i am delivering uh, various uh, concept uh, theoretical concept which are related to the cost sheet uh, in the first slide i am presenting with you meaning of the cost sheet and second slide definition of the cost sheet and third slide features of the cost sheet and uh, fourth slide objective of the cost sheet and then formula of the cost sheet and then in the ending slide i am pre i am presenting with you a uh, format of the cost sheet uh, yes uh my dear all of student because uh, uh in the examination point of view uh, students uh, study cost sheet uh, practically but uh, without theoretical norms we cannot solve uh, any practical uh, illustration in the uh, examination and in the uh, uh, student uh, ac academic uh, year see first of all we discuss the meaning of the cost sheet so basically the cost sheet is a statement we show the various component of the total cost of a product it it is classified and analysis the components of the cost of product the cost sheet is a statement that provide the assemble and detail of the cost which incurred for the purpose of the production the chartered institute of the management accountants london define cost sheet as a document cost sheet as a document which provide for the assembly of the detailed cost of cost center and cost unit see in the next slide i am uh, giving introduction or uh, present here another uh, definition with you according to the harold j weldon cost sheet are prepared for the use of the management and the consequently they must include all the essential detail which we assist the management in the checking efficiency of product and then second definition is there according to the walter w b the expenditure which has been incurred upon the production for a period is extracted from the financial book and store record and out of the memorandum statement if this statement is confined to the disclosure of the cost the unit production during the period this term or this statement is also known as a cost sheet next i am presenting with you the basic feature of the cost sheet the cost sheet is a prepare uh, first of all uh, to know uh, ascertainment of the total cost of the production and then second feature cost sheet is a prepare for the specific period of time generally month or quarterly or half yearly or yearly the cost sheet is generally contain of the following information see it's a content which including the cost sheet first of all period of the cost sheet and total output during the process then cost of raw material consumed cost of direct labor cost of uh, cost of uh, direct expenses cost of factory cost of administrative and cost of uh, selling and distribution then we discuss in the next slide objective of the cost sheet cost sheet reveals the cost and cost per unit of the goods produced and it discover the break up of total cost in different element of the cost such as the administrative cost selling and distribution cost and the factory overheads it provide a comparative study of the current period and the previous period of the cost of production then it acts as a guide of management for the fixation of the selling price because because in the ending of the cost sheet we com we compute the total sales and according to the production unit and sales unit we compute the uh, selling price of the particular product then next i am presenting with you formulas because totally uh, cost sheet is depend upon the formula some formulas uh, these formulas is very important for the preparation of the cost sheet in first i am uh, presenting with uh, next slide prime uh, prime cost see it is a must important uh, 
कंसेप्ट ऑफ द कॉस्टिट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ऑफ द कॉस्टिट इन प्राइम कॉस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ द प्राइम कॉस्ट प्राइम कॉस्ट इज अ बेसिक कॉस्ट इट इज अ प्राइमरी कॉस्ट एंड इट इज अग्रीगेट टोटल ऑफ द डायरेक्ट मटेरियल डायरेक्ट लेबर एंड डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस सी इन द नेक्स्ट राइट आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग विथ यू फॉर्मेट ऑफ द कॉस्टिट एंड देन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द कॉस्टिट we recording uh, amount of the direct material amount of the direct labor and amount of the direct expenses the aggregate total of the direct material and direct labor and direct expenses is equal to prime cost then next formula is their work cost work cost is the aggregate total of the prime cost and the factory overheads see all of student in the cost sheet in prime cost we should add a uh, factory or total of the factory overheads then we get the uh, amount of the work cost then next formula is there all of uh, cost of production how to calculate cost of production cost of production is calculate work cost plus office and administrative expenses or overheads see all of then we are going to the next concept cost of goods sold how to calculate cost of cost of goods sold in the cost sheet cost of production plus opening stock of finished goods plus closing stock of the finished goods we get then we get the exact amount of the cost of good, goods sold then in the last cost of sales and total cost see in the cost sheet we calculate total cost according to the last formula cost of goods sold plus selling and distribution then we get the exact amount and total cost of the product then according to the management planning see we can adding the profit of the product um because management has fixed the selling price and according to the selling price we set the profit margin for the purpose of the uh, calculation of the selling price and calculation of the profit margin see uh it is a very simple format we use for the purpose of the practical uh cost sheet sums because uh student sometimes student use uh, another formula uh in that formula uh they not used uh, any schedule for the purpose of uh computation of and ascertainment of the cost but in that particular session we use a uh, simple format uh where we use uh schedules for the purpose of the computation of the direct material computation of the factory overheads computation of the office and administrative overheads and then computation of the selling and distribution in the uh, next um, slide i am presenting with you uh schedule wise working note see in the schedule number 1 we compute the material consumed in the material consume uh, according to the illustration they given to you value of the opening stock of raw material value of the purchase of raw material okay na see uh, and the value of the purchase expense in the purchase expenses include carriage inward custom duty octroi duty dock duty import duty dock charges according to the uh, illustration we adding the amount of the purchase expenses and uh then material consume we deduct a uh, purchase return and closing stock of raw material see according to the working note number 1 we compute the material consume amount then in the schedule number 2 i am presenting here uh how to calculate a factory overheads total factory overheads in the uh, uh in the cost sheet see uh there are various element of the cost i am uh i am sharing with you see uh in the factory overheads in the factory overheads uh, i am giving to you indirect material and indirect wages sometimes student confuse sir uh, indirect material and then indirect uh, wages direct material and direct wages see according to the definition direct material which are directly related to the production and indirect material see indirect material are not directly 
recorded uh, directly related to the production it is a sub part it is a sub part of the production and indirect wages and direct wages direct wages direct wages according to the definition direct wages is paid to the worker who is engaged in the factory for the purpose of production but indirect wages is paid to the worker who is engaged in cleaning and then uh, other works in the factory so this is the difference between the indirect wages and direct wages and then we recorded in the factories working a uh, factory overheads working not coal and fuel factory rent work stationery then drawing office salary see all of student uh, again student confused on that uh, point drawing office salary sir uh, drawing office salary is a purely office expense no drawing office salary is drawing office salary is paid to the office worker but for the purpose of the drawing the production chart therefore this drawing office salary is recorded in the factory overheads then uh, work expenses gas and water technical fees laboratory expenses these are elements cost elements are included in the factory overheads then we adding the opening stock of uh, work in progress and less closing stock of work then important sales of scrap uh, sales of scrap is important uh, component because uh, uh, sometimes examiner as given in the particular illustration sales of scrap but student don't know ki how uh, where is the recorded sale of scrap the sale of scrap is recorded in the factory deduct from the factory overhead then in the third schedule office overhead in office overheads we are recording the uh, office overhead office cost and office expenses Uh, such as uh, office salary director fees office rent depreciation office furniture postage and legal charges and audit fees then we are going to the last uh, working note and schedule number 4 selling and distribution selling and in selling and distribution uh schedule uh, we recording advertising showroom expenses bad debts and salesman salary carries outward see Uh, again in uh, last moment uh, student again confused in the concept of the carriage inward and the carriage outward uh, examiner asking uh, uh, examiner given uh, carriage inward and carriage outward in the same illustration the student not able to record carriage inward and carriage outward in proper manner in the schedule number 4 and schedule number 1 also because they don't know exactly meaning of the carriage outward and carriage inward see what is the meaning of the carriage inward carriage inward is a purchase expenses when the manufacturing concern purchase raw material then the transportation expenses incurred these expenditure is also known as a carriage inward then carriage outward is known as is the selling and distribution expenses when the material is sold that time the manufacturing concern paid and incurred the incurred the transportation expenses this expenses also known as the carriage out therefore we recorded carriage inward as a purchase expenses in the material consumed and carriage outward in the selling expenses then Uh, counting our salary commission expenses then collection charges tra traveling expenses are included in the schedule number 4 and then i am presenting with you uh, the following expenses is not part of the is not part of the cost sheet see such as income tax preliminary expenses goodwill return of interest paid then discount received commission received is a purely financial income and the financial expenses therefore we are not recorded uh, this element and this component in the cost sheet see this is a all element and all working notes and all formats we use for the purpose of the uh, preparation of the cost sheet in the next session thank you